Good morning and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chloe aka Sea Shoddy and today I'm just going to show you all my plants and tell you their backstories because they each have a unique and very special story. Um, all of my plants are here on my balcony except for two that I have at work which when I go to work which I'm gonna do. Hey! So this is my plant corner. Most of my sun's right in my eye. Most of my plants are in this area, and then I have a couple right over by where I was sitting before, and I'm gonna start over here. So first we have all of my aloe plants. How am I gonna do this? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, all hold on. of my aloe plants. So I'm sorry, I, honestly, I haven't been taking great care of these for the past few weeks. I just started really upping my plant mom game a couple days ago again, but I know these look sad, um, but they do have a couple pups that look like they'll make it. This is another aloe pup named Oliver. Hey, Ollie. Yeah, he's very high maintenance. <laughs> this is my second aloe plant. This one looks a lot healthier. It also has some pups. In the back, this is my third. This one also has pups. Oops. And this is my biggest one. Now, all of these aloe plants actually came from the same place. I got these from my internship director in Tallahassee. So I've had most of these aloes, except for the small ones, for almost two years. Um, I used to put the pups in teacups and sell them at the shop. I would find the teacups at the thrift store. It's a really cute idea. Um, now I just use them as gifts. I used to gift them to my patients when I worked in hospice. This right here is my desert rose. I'm holding my angel wing begonia out of the way. My grandma actually got this for me. I just love the shape of it. For some reason, I don't think it's ever actually flowered since I've had it. I can't figure out if it has too much sun, if it's not getting enough water, I really don't know. So usually what happens to these little things, it almost looks like they start molding. Please don't look at my nails. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> they suck. So I've been trying to like prune it back and make something of it, but it's never been happy. And I've had this plant for years as well. So if you know any tips on the desert rose, Please let me know. Obviously, I need help, okay? In addition to the Desert Rose, my Grammy also got me this one. It was one of those little magnets that came in a stupid little container. It outgrew the container, so I repotted it with these other two succulents I have. They've gotten huge, honestly. Oh, and I just noticed this little, what's it called? Rosette, maybe? I don't know. Let me know if I'm wrong. And what they do occasionally is they... They make these really long flowers coming right out of them. It's very weird. I didn't even know they could do that, but they've been doing that for, for a, a while now. I've had these for also a couple years. Um, this is my angel wing begonia. This is a really special plant to me. Sorry, there was someone walking by and the dogs went berserk, but I was saying this is a very special plant to me, even though it looks like I don't take special care of it because I got it from one of my old hospice patients. Her daughter um, just knew I liked plants. I'd shown her pictures of my balcony and she gifted me this. So I've had this plant for about a year now. It's actually grown a lot. I definitely need to water it more. I just think it's a beautiful plant. I love that the underside is like pink, red, whatever, and the speckles. I just love this plant and I'm happy I haven't killed it yet because it, it's a really nice reminder of the work I used to do, which I miss, by the way. I'll film a video all about it. And then over here, we have the, I think this is just like a pothos. It's also in a pretty sad state. Excuse, I shouldn't even be showing anyone these, but I got this plant in Gainesville with my best friend, Katrine. Love you, Katrine. We both got one. And this plant also reminds me of good times with my BFF. I also got this little fish tattoo in Gainesville with Katrine. She didn't get a tattoo. <laughs> and then back to where I was sitting before. This is 
I don't even know what it is. It's really sad and pathetic, but I, I can't kill it. So if it wants to live, I'll let it live. I actually got this in one of those subscription boxes. I don't do it anymore. It's kind of stupid, but it's cool while it lasted. Now this, this crazy cactus. It's the weirdest thing. Like, I don't understand this at all. If you understand it, like, look at this. Let me know if you understand. So it used to be just a little thing, just like the base, and then it had a flower on top. And stupid me thought that the flower was actually part of this plant, but I guess it was just grafted on the top. So when the top started, it looked like it was rotting. I just cut it off thinking it would grow back, and it never did, and then it started sprouting these long, <laughs> long things at the sides so it's just kind of ugly and i don't really know what to do with it at all and then here i have my little fairy garden welcome to my fairy garden and i won this in an auction with my grandmother i also won a whole lacroix swag bag i love lacroix So yeah, those are all the plants I have at home for the most part. I have a couple of my fish tanks, but I'm gonna wait to show you my fish tanks. I take better care of my animals than I do my plants. And then we're gonna go to work and I'll show you the other two cute plants I got there. All right. All right, I made it to work. Um, so I wanted to show you the two really pretty plants I have here. So this first one, this is beautiful. It's called a dendrodium or angel love vivid <laughs> i got this one at the orchid show with my grandma we usually go like every year but i'm always afraid to purchase orchids because if you know about plants you know the orchids are kind of finicky but this one just keeps blooming and blooming and it has some more buds that are gonna be blooming soon and i the thing that really stood out to me about this plant was how thick the stem is. I really like that. I don't know, I just think it, it kind of reminds me of bamboo. I just think it's a badass orchid. And it wasn't even that expensive. I think I got it for like 35 bucks. I need to put it in a real pot, but love this plant. And then the last plant, last but not, I can't put this here. Last but not least, <clears throat> Oh my god, it's gonna fall over. Last but not, I'm just gonna hold it. Last but not least, I have this cute little guy. And I don't know what this plant is. I bought it from my friends who own a little uh, plant company. They actually hand painted the pot, so they hand painted this pot. <laughs> and they were doing this really cute. Well, I'm gonna switch the camera. Plants for Valentine's Day. And they had them in these really cute little boxes, and I bought this for myself. I just love it. I guess it's a really dramatic plant. Like, the other day I didn't water it in like two days, and it just, everything wilted. But once I watered it, it came right back up. If you know what kind of plant this is, let me know. I love him. He's so cute. So that concludes my plant video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, if you know anything about those plants, please let me know. Give me some tips. Obviously, I need help in some areas, uh, but I love them. I do my best. I think that's what counts. And thank you so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel. Like the video if you liked it. Comment something. Um, thank you so much to my 10 subscribers. Love you guys. I hope you have an amazing day or an amazing night or amazing whatever you're doing. And I will see you soon. Love you. Bye. Thank you.